Hey, how's it going? Today, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about InfluxDB, Flux, and Tables. This is a response um, to a question that I came across on Twitter on InfluxDB from Tyus. Hey, Tyus, how's it going? Um, and Tyus said, I'm doing a from range filter pivot filter sort. <laughs> uh, why are the results not being sorted? And this is actually a really common question. And it just comes down to understanding how Flux returns its results as a set of tables and not as a single source of data. And we'll look at that as an example. Now, the answer here you can see in my reply is just to flatten those tables with an empty group. So let's use uh, an example from my own data. So what I have here is my InfluxDB. It is where I store all of the metrics from the videos that I produce and upload to YouTube. Um, and what we can see here is if I just you know click submit to show this is fresh data, is that we have a set of uh, results here and a single table, you know table zero 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 zero, with the name of the video and how many views that it has received and aggregate across all time windows. Now, in order to show why this is necessary, I will just take out some of this uh, query, right? I'm removing a group, a sum, a group, and a top, which is just a sort, and a, a, a top end filter. Now, what we can see here is, well, we still have a table zero, but now we have a table one, table two, table three, all the way down to table 97. And this is because we are getting the default group key, which is on the tags within the bucket. This is much better explained visually. So what we can see is, you know, classic time series data here and that each of these lines represents one of my videos and how it performed over time. And that uses the tags within the bucket to work out what the group key will be by default. In this case, it is the video ID. So one of the things that we can do is, you know, say I just want to sum. No longer, I'm no longer getting what we would consider time series data because we're not looking at a, a time of window. I'm using the default group key and calculating the total number of minutes viewed for each video. All right, so there's no time dimension here anymore. Now, you can still see that that sum happens on the default group key, which is per video. So I still have my 97 tables. This cannot be sorted um, because the sort happens with an inside of each table. <laughs> and in fact, if I bring in the top N, you'll see I still get 97 tables because the top end also works within the table. And the only way to get around this or to get something that you can aggregate across all series is to do a flat group. When I bring in this, and I'll take out the top again for a moment, you'll see we get one single table with 97 entries, 97 records. Now we have a data in a position that can be sorted because it all lives in a single table. And in fact, if I bring in my top end again, we're back to the initial query and we can see exactly what we expect. So what does that mean? Understand that Flux returns things based on the default group, which is the tags within the data, and you will get one table for each unique series any filter, any sort that happens at that level is per table. If you want to work across all the tables with all of your data, you need to do the flat group and then you will get the results that you expect. I hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.